Stanford University. Okay, well, welcome to lecture four of Stanford CS 193P, fall of 2011. And uh, before I get started today, uh, I want to take a moment and uh, just talk a little bit about uh, a good friend of mine, someone very important in my life uh, who passed away yesterday. Um, when I graduated from Stanford, the first job I ever got was an insanely great job offer from Steve. And uh, I went to work for Next Computer. And, you know, the eight years that I worked there were just nonstop awesome. It was an incredible place to work. And it was because of Steve and, and his passion and his energy. And the stuff that we built there, the technologies we built long, long time ago, uh, I'm standing up in front of you each week and talking about them today, okay, two, day, two decades later. Uh, and it's still the cool, uh, hot technology, and that is a testament uh, for sure uh, to Steve's vision. Uh, he had a passion for aesthetics. You know, to him, uh, having it feel right and look beautiful were super, super important. I think for him, beauty, you didn't go to the museum or, you know, see it hanging on the wall. Beauty, you could get it when you went to go check your email, okay, or when you answered your phone or went to your music library, or watched, you know, a movie like Toy Story. Uh, for Steve, uh, the beauty, his, what he felt like was that he could bring beauty to people in their everyday lives, and I think uh, that might be uh, one of his uh, lasting legacies. Uh, you know, in a world where capitalism reigns and the ultimate IT dollar says what is, uh, what is good and what is not good, uh, the fact that he built the most valuable company in the world based on that premise, uh, you know, that to me bodes well for mankind. <laughs> that means we value that. Uh, and it certainly uh, is testament to Steve. Uh, to be able to do that. Uh, I read an article a couple weeks ago in the New York Times, uh, a bunch of brain researchers were doing like fMRIs and brain scans of people who use their iPhones all the time. And they were trying to match them up against known brain patterns. And I think they were expecting that it would show up uh, that these people who use their phones a lot had brain patterns like addicts, right? Like we're addicted to our phones. But when they looked at the brain scans, uh, it didn't match people who were addicts as much as it matched people who were in love, okay? And uh, we love our iPhones. We truly, actually love our iPhones, uh, which is really quite amazing. So when you go out into the world to do whatever it is you're going to do, whether you're sitting here at Stanford or whether you're um, out there on iTunes U, um, you know, Steve, would, if he were standing here, would tell you, value aesthetic as a top priority, right? Bring beauty to people in their everyday lives with whatever you do. And uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Uh, and so now I guess I'll go on to try and bring some beauty into your lives with my demo, my lecture. I know you love it.